To set up a specimen for a triaxial test, we're going to first need the bottom component, which includes the pedestal, along with the top cap. We're also going to need three O-rings, two power stones, an O-ring stretcher, a membrane, a vacuum pressure gauge, along with the membrane stretcher, and we're also going to need a metal scoop and a funnel. We will also need one of these. Before we do anything, we're going to first clean off the pedestal along with the top cap to remove any sand or grease that was left over. You're going to also need to remove all the sand around the pedestal, so that all of this area right here. And you're going to especially try to get rid of the sand that could have fallen into the grooves right here. Now that everything is cleaned off, we can now apply a thin layer of grease around the baseline of the pedestal. After you're done greasing the pedestal, you're going to want to place your pores down right here. And after that, you're going to want to slide the membrane over, but you're going to want the, the thicker end of the membrane to be at the bottom. So that's what's going to go first. We are now going to use the O-ring stretcher and we're going to place two O-rings at the bottom part right here. I already placed one there so the next one's going to go right above it. For the membrane stretcher, I first greased up the edges right along here and then I got an old membrane and I cut it up into thin strips and I placed them right here for both of them so that when I put them together, it will completely seal it off and it won't allow any air to get in or out. So once you have your membrane stretcher all set up like this, you're going to want to put it over your membrane. And you're going to use this to put both of the pieces together. You can also want to put it towards the bottom part of the membrane stretcher. After these two pieces are together and tightly secured, you're going to want to put the membrane over the stretcher. Now that the membrane is pulled over, we're going to apply a vacuum to it. This is supposed to fully stretch out the membrane. So once I apply the vacuum, it should be completely flat. See the vacuum is on but I'm still able to push down. This means that there that there is a leak somewhere. But since this is just for practice, we're just going to continue on from here. Now we're going to fill up the membrane, so we're just going to use the funnel and the metal scoop. We can now place the pour stone on top, and we're going to now grease the top cap. Once the top cap has grease on it, we're going to use the o-ring stretcher and we're going to slide through it along with the o-ring around it. We're going to then place it on top. We're going to stretch out the membrane to go over it. And then we can use the o-ring stretcher and then we're going to place it over the membrane. Set up. We're going to attach the gauge meter onto here and we're going to also apply another vacuum. So these two should be closed and these two will be open. So now that the vacuum has been applied, we're going to wait a couple seconds. Once time has passed, we're going to turn off only the vacuum. And when we do that, this is not supposed to go down. If this goes down, that means there is a leak somewhere. So now we're going to turn off only the vacuum. So now that it's turned off, we're going to see what happens. And so far it is holding. But if this, is, this does go any lower, then that means there is a problem in your specimen. If you see that it's holding, you can now disassemble the membrane stretcher. 
Now that you remove the membrane stretcher, you can now move the o-ring where the line is right here. Now you want to add vacuum grease to the top and the bottom of the cylinder. We can now place it on the pedestal and once it reaches the bottom, we can twist it a few times to make sure we don't hear any sand. We first want to make sure that the metal rod is aligned with the top cap and once it is aligned, we can then slide the lid over. All we have to do now is insert these three metal rods and once they're in place, we need to tighten the rods equally to make sure that the lid doesn't get uneven. And once you do that, your sample is ready.